Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to Destiny 2. It's that time of the week again, folks, and I don't normally do this very often, but this is going to be a very... So, Bungie's latest weekly update is up. This is for the week of July 25th. It's also the last one for the month of July as well. Things are definitely heating up now for Solstice of Heroes, and it's almost upon us. It's going to bring us some moments of triumphs to complete, a new title for Guardians to earn, and eventually get challenged to upgrade a Solstice of Heroes armor set by completing a lot of various activities throughout Destiny 2. Now, of course, uh, there was a Solstice of Heroes 2019 announcement article, which was announced yesterday, which I tried to do yesterday, which I tried doing it on Microsoft Edge, but it's been a pain in the butt. So I'll try and do it on, on another video, which I hopefully will do. And they've also, uh, they've also released a, a brand new trailer as well, which was only uh, about 43 seconds long which I'll do my best to post a link for that in the description box below. And trust me, it's a, it's a pretty cool trailer. Now, again, if you don't know what it is, Solstice of Heroes does run from July 30th all the way to August 27th, which will also be the day when Moments of Triumph officially comes to an end. Now, uh, if you have what it takes to fully upgrade the armor set to the Legendary tier, well, good news, Guardians. It's going to be an Armor 2.0 version coming your way at the Gunsmith when Shadowkeep does launch. Now, when the event does begin next week, Lord Saladin is not going to let you sit idle, because the Iron Banner is already in full swing, which will bring power-enabled PvP combat back into the fold. And if you're looking for some advanced per perks on Legendary Armor, you'll have to ensure you complete the bounties from Lord Saladin and the quest line as best as you can. And a few changes will be coming next week for both the quest and a wolf-themed weapon, the Lord of Wolves. Plus a lot of big information coming your way, so without further ado, Get your old popcorn and chips ready. It's going to be a bit of a long one, possibly. So let's just get right into it here. First of all, commemorative. Um, the weekend of the Prometheus Lens, which was also known as Laser Tag Weekend, was a great example. Now, for Lord of Wolves, this will fall into the category. Now, coming up this Tuesday, which is update 2.5.2, .2, which may potentially be the last update before Shadowkeep launches, this will rein in the wolves a, bit, a little bit by reducing the amount of ammo that Guardians eventually pick up and tone down the effective range of the weapon. Now, uh, thanks to the Guardian Con event and the Charity Stream Marathon, which happened, uh, pretty sure it was late last month, they've created a, an emblem and triumph for those who brave the wolves during the Season of Opulence. Now, if you guys already played an Iron Banner match, you've already completed it, and just thinking to yourself, where's the triumph? Where's the emblem? I should have gotten it by now. Relax, Guardians, because next week in the update on July 30th, the qualifying players will eventually receive not only a Lost History package at the Postmaster, but this will also unlock a, a unique triumph as well. And once it's claimed, the emblem is going to be granted. So how do you get it? Well, to qualify for that uh, emblem, which is called Wolves Unleashed, you'll need to finish an Iron Banner match between uh, either June 18th and 25th at the Weekly Reset, or July 23rd and July 30th also on the reset. Now again, basically win or lose, just have to finish the match. That's it. Now, um, also there's an emblem for those who have eventually embraced the madness back in 2017 when skulls were eventually melted during the reign of Prometheus Lens. So, if you want to qualify for this emblem called uh, Prismatic Inferno, you'll have to finish a Crucible match between uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, between December 8th and 12th of 2017, which I really have no idea if I played Crucible during those days. Yeah, I don't think I did. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, I think we're just going to move on. Now, as mentioned, from update 2.5.2, .2, obviously it's going to be released on Tuesday, which will kick off Solstice of Heroes and some balance to the Lord of Wolves. Now, there's also going to be some additional changes and fixes coming your way within the update, which were highly requested by the community. So let's preview them right now. First of all, Lord of Wolves, which is definitely the big topic here. This will reduce the amount of ammo shotgun scavenger perks, which can give in to the Lord of Wolves when in the release the wolves state. So I'm pretty sure that's when all the zones are captured in Iron Banner, but I really don't know for sure. Decrease the effective range on Lord of Wolves, and this will decrease more aggressive when in that state. 
release the wolves. Now for the tribute hall, the next one here triumphs for both the Emperor's Gladiator and Scoundrel in uniform will no longer require a full set of Leviathan gear equipped to progress. And players will earn more points based on the number of gear, pe gear pieces worn, similar to the other triumphs. Next up, Iron Banner. The quest objective values will, will now be adjusted for future events. Uh, for grenade and sword kills, first of all, grenade kills are required by 50%, and the allied kills will be worth much as your own. And same thing for the allied kills as well, but the sword kills are required by 25%. Next up, Menagerie slash Chalice. Heroic uh, Menagerie will drop a sword for the first time completion, which is 100%, and subsequent completions will have a moderate chance to drop one at 25%. And of course, in general, fixing an issue where the completion notifications did not appear after completing the bounties, and... Um, of course, this will also fix an issue where players would sometimes not spawn during a Crucible match. So those are your two general uh, fixes right there. And, uh, of course, for um, for the patch prep, um, not a whole lot to be explained right here, but here are the time slots coming your way uh, when the maintenance and updates and when Solstice of Heroes goes live. Now, it's going to be delayed a little bit, but let's just, let's just get right to the time slots. So, first of all, at uh, noon Eastern Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Time on July 30th. Maintenance is going to start. The companion features will be offline. And then 45 minutes later, everything's going to be offline. Now, at around 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, Destiny 2 will be back online. But maintenance is still going to be going. Now, update 2.5.2 will start rolling out across all platforms and the regions. Now, in the star category right here, players on console who are taking on abnormally long time to receive the update will eventually try updating it manually. Okay, so again, it could be either on PS4 or Xbox One. And finally, uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time, maintenance is going to conclude, the companion features will be online, and Solstice of Heroes will begin. So just letting you folks know, update 2.5.2 will be out at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and then Solstice of Heroes will launch at 2 p.m., not 1 p.m., 2 p.m. So I highly recommend look on the TWAB for more information. And on that further note, ladies and gentlemen, that is officially it. We're just a few days away from Solstice of Heroes. Are you excited for this? I think last year was pretty good. Let's hope they don't disappoint this year. And like I said, I'll probably do another video on that somewhere down the road. So. Keep your eyes and ears tuned in for some Solstice of Heroes news from yours truly as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching us, everybody. We will see you guys again on the battlefield, or maybe even at the EAZ, the European Aerial Zone. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.